there back at it again with another video in this video i just wanted to get people to connect to their person's intentions this could be romantic or not it could be a job it could be just something you're in an entanglement whatever however it resonates to you is how you can take it the first group is this one awaken and the second group is unconditional love so whichever one pops out to you, whichever one resonates, I'm going to put them back up right now. I just want you to sit on that and really think about it. I'm going to take this sound bowl out <clears throat> so you can really focus on the intention with um, that person currently. You know, like think about your situation or who you want it to direct to. Because if you're going through a lot, I'm not going to call anybody out. But <laughs> if you're thinking about multiple things, then it could get kind of messy. So really focus and then... Uh, Go ahead and do this. So just take some deep breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Focus on the bowl. When I hit it, take a deep breath. And when I circle, exhale. Focus your intentions. Okay, great. I really wanted to do that before we start, just so y'all can focus on the group again. So here that is one more time. And really focus on the one that is calling to you. And we're going to get right into it. Make sure you subscribe and join the vibes. Okay, group number one, welcome. If you have any wine or like a snack or anything, you can drink or eat that as well. But I'm gonna be sipping this wine, but you don't have to do anything. You could just drink like a protein shake or you know, whatever's for you. Okay. We're all adults, so. <laughs> First, we're gonna figure out if this car is really resonating for you guys. This is the one that called out to you. So I can already tell you're woke or you whining or you're having a little difficulty connecting to it right now but regardless i'm gonna just pull two cards to clarify you because this card is you and then we're gonna look into your person we'll pull their overall energy and then two clarifiers and then we'll pull out the advice from spirit towards the end so if this doesn't resonate, you can go ahead to the other pile and check that out. Or it might not be for you. That's okay, too. All right, let's pull two clarifiers for this group number one. What is calling to them? What are they going through right now? Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus. Okay. And let me just pull one more card. Just to help get more clarity with this pile number one. Take some deep breaths. Work through your fears. New moon and Scorpio. Okay. So already I can tell that you're a unique type of person being and you are into the unknown because with this awaken card, it's telling you to get closer to your spirit guides, to your ancestors, to this inner knowing that everybody feels you know whether you believe in god whether you believe in you know a lot you know there's different words for things so as long as it's positive that's definitely calling to you to give you some sort of power and i'm gonna put some sentences up with this number one awakening card and whatever pops out to you i want you to really take that and really think about that and reflect on it you know but with this work through your fears it's something that you need to release definitely with the new moon that's what that's all about and it's just holding you back scorpio is a very like you know controlled confident sexy type of energy so you're being called to just work through those little scorpions of the past and let those go or even if it's something you keep revisiting currently you're being called to you know look into that see why that kind of is mysterious to you or makes you want to you know live your life like to let loose definitely but just know whatever you're trying to plan it has to be practical with this full moon in taurus 
very hard working sign so whatever you want to get to of course you're gonna have to put in your all it's a long way to the top it's not a short one unless you doing something you know low vibration so i'm sensing a lot of um good things in your new in your near future i'm sensing a lot of good things honestly so it seems like you're working on something but you're just kind of hitting a, a stepping point where it's like okay is this really what i want to do or you know what i mean so in order to connect more to that you have to go within that's what this is all about just seeing you know if the intentions line up <laughs> So give me one more card for this group one. Just their overall intention so they can see if it lines up with their persons. What is their purpose? <clears throat> Walk your truth, number 35. Okay. Already I see a lot of change. And everybody's been changing through the entire year. If you're not changing every three to six months, something's not right. Something should elevate. Something should initiate. You should be, even mentally, like, in a better situation. With the three and the five, I definitely sense some angelic energy. And the five is that you want change right now. That's what that's signifying, or it's on the way. Like, you're destined for a big purposeful change only did two powers because like either you're going to connect or you're not so you know what i mean i'm not about to do the three and four that's just i'm not doing that <laughs> all the time i will here and there yeah it seems like you're ready to really walk into your purpose and really understand okay this is who i am this is what i want to do and this is how i'm going to do it. that's what you're being called to i mean going over and over it it's happening it's intentional within that's your intuition you know all these words and things that we hear they they really matter so that's your current energy now we're going to look at your person we're going to put out what spirit wants them to know or wants you to know with their intentions free spirit number 13 i can already tell they're a wild card <laughs> they like to just flow they like to just be free do what serves them and like they're not really too not that they're not aware or they understand that like everybody has things that they want to do but their calling is more of something they love to do you know what i mean if do you get my drift like some people will get it some people won't and then this card is just going to indicate like their intentions for the future basically balance number two so that's what they want they want a free, balanced situation. That's just their intentions overall. So it could be with you. It could be with their future. It could be with something they're into. Now is the time to see, okay, um, could this be this person? Does this resonate, you know? But I'm gonna also put up some sentences and if they pop out to you, then they pop out to you. And we'll go from there. So already I'm sensing that. And I'm going to pull two more clarifiers just as they're like what their intentions are. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Let me pull one more. You got don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. Okay. So already I can tell that your person is very bright, very smart. Um, with the Gemini and the Leo energy, they're very into their own skin. And I feel like with you, there's a lot of things that you're really good at and you have good intentions towards, but you kind of let the past stop you from that a little bit more. So I think that's the message for you. Like you're in a position where you want to be a certain way but you're just not sure and you, you really want to know a yes or no answer to something so depending on how you ask the questions throughout the reading that's how you get your answer with whatever i'm saying so be mindful of that um but yeah just with that like it says one of your main cards your dreams need a practical plan like it's okay to uh keep thinking thinking but it's like walk your truth 
set out a goal and then just execute it and if you fail you fail oh well that's a lesson if you die you might prosper but if you don't try then you never know and i feel like with this person they're kind of in a crossroads too but again y'all both have a lot of angelic numbers so that just does indicate that you're on the right path like you have backup like you're good so i don't know if between you two like if there needs to be a little bit more communication on like goals and you know things you want to get into but that's definitely something you should look into and i think with your person it's okay that they don't always want to make the first move sometimes because that's something that they struggle with i feel like because it just makes sense with the Leo energy and the Gemini. Um, and with the Cardinal Moon, I'm going to put the signs that are coincided with that. Just so you, your person may be one of these signs, but they definitely don't have to be. Yeah, they just need to let go of that stubborn energy sometimes while walking their truth. And that will balance out relationships and balance out the things they love to do and you know what i mean your everyday life it you just have to be balanced within too so i think they definitely need to connect too a little bit so however y'all do that however y'all you know what i mean like seek that just get more into that it could be running it could be music i'm sensing that too like maybe y'all are very like talented or I don't know there's something y'all want to do together or something maybe you're already doing like a business or maybe in college whatever the overall message is like okay you are on the right path but just always be communicating your intentions to one another and don't let go of why you started something you know what I mean because that can affect a lot of relationships too just changing within them especially if you were with somebody for a long time changing throughout the relationship and you know wanting to obtain this or wanting to get another goal just always communicate that and ask for guidance ask for help um within your partner if you don't have trust then you don't really have anything so if that's something you're feeling like you can't do with the work through your fears in scorpio i'm sensing that a little bit too maybe a little difficult for you to do that but however it's definitely how you take it I think that this is a good connection though i'm sensing um with all the good backup i just think that you know trauma of course affects people in different ways and if you don't learn to move through it peacefully and in a healing way then it'll always affect anything and everything maybe both of y'all can be a little bit stubborn but <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull one more card as an overall what the spirit wants you to take from this what can help you in the long run what does spirit want them to know and what can they take from this intention is this intention serving them all of the above right Get a little stuck okay what does spirit want them to know It's so weird. This card keeps coming out. It came out a lot yesterday too. So yeah, I feel like y'all just need to understand that to even have something as powerful or have that great abundance or, you know, option that you seek. I guess that's a good word to say, but like option that you seek, you have to know that you are worthy. So with this relationship i think is saying that as long as you love yourself and as long as you practice that self-love every day however it may be you know doing things a little bit more for yourself you may struggle with that a little bit and i was sensing that too like with the with your cards coming out the one the one who's picked this reading so yeah just understand that when you always step into that energy of protecting yourself and that's not being in situations that hurt you or harm you make you feel drained or sad all the time like that's not good so we're definitely meant to be happy meant to be peaceful as long as you have that within you'll always attract that and nobody can give that better than yourself i wish you and this intention the best of course 
enjoy this intention, but definitely, definitely do what is best for you. How's it going, group number two, pal number two? How it do? <laughs> Just kidding. But today, you already know the deal. We're going to look into your energy because this is the card you picked. So this is talking about you. Unconditional love. So you may have some strengths when it comes to love, but we're going to get into it for you. Um, if you have any wine or anything like that, feel free to pour a glass or whatever you do. Feel free to do you. I'm more of a leaf person. If you get my drift so whatever you do um i will be sipping on this wine though because we're all adults so you know so i'm gonna pull two more clarifiers for this unconditional card and just see how this resonates to you so this is the perfect time to figure out if this does coincide with what you got going on internally externally however it resonates and if it doesn't, then that's okay. You can just go check out the first pile. Maybe you're just drawn to this card because you liked it. But the first pile is truly you. So let's see. Let's see your intentions within yourself. That's what this is about. You have to get the intentions within yourself in order to see if the intentions of your person match up with yours. So expect powerful change. Okay, and I'm gonna just pull one more card and then I'm gonna speak on how I feel. Already, this is a lot of interesting energy. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna pull another card because. Let's see. Okay, confidence is key to your success. New Moon and Leo. Yeah, the other card just didn't feel right when I picked that one up. Already, you're somebody who is going to embark on a very high maintenance experience. And I don't mean that just materialistically, but just like with the work you put into it. You know what I mean? Because with this confidence is key, New Moon and Leo, that indicates that you got it. You are that lioness, that goddess, that king of the jungle, whatever you say, whether you're a male or a female. And something is headed to you and it's going to make you so happy and i think that that's something you just want to share with somebody <clears throat> but you have to choose between unconditional love and conditional love sometimes because when you have conditional love or even unconditional love that stems from the past so you have to figure out if the way you love somebody is healthy or unhealthy you get what i'm, you get what I'm saying like um, that definitely plays a part into the connection. So I think when it comes to success and when it comes to financial, you're embarking on a good path or you've always been kind of good with it, but I see a lot of greatness in coming um, soon. But with this love, I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of hard for me to place it on. I'm going to pull in a person to see what their intentions are. Overall energy. Shadow self, number 28. Yeah, so they aim to just get closer to themselves in general and within life. So, I definitely sense that. Not closer to themselves, but closer to like obtain self, like independence. I'm thinking, and let's see. Give me two more clarifiers with the shadow self. A personal issue, which is resolution, full moon in Cancer. Alright, give me one more. Communication is key. Y'all keep getting like Gemini and Leo energy. That's so interesting. I don't know if a lot of y'all are Geminis or Leos, but you don't have to be. Um, it could just be how you need to play out the situation or how you kind of come off. So already with your person, I think that they're overthinking a lot when it comes to the connection, but their overall intentions are to show you that 
love is what you seek. So like I said, you got to think about which one is healthy, the unconditional love or not, because you got unconditional love. So I'm going to put up some sentences up here just so you can see what pops out to you, what resonates. And then with your person as well, I'm going to do the same thing. So they got a shadow self. And I think that's definitely them calling to themselves. Like they probably don't practice a lot of self-care as well as you do. But yeah, with the new moon in Gemini, it's just saying they need to communicate more within and with the connection. Because if you can go in and figure out, okay, why did I do this this way? Or why am I being in this stillness? Or you know what I mean? Like talk to yourself a little bit more. Sometimes it's not the other person. <laughs> I'm not saying with you, the unconditional love person, that you're just a cupcake but I feel like y'all definitely just need to communicate more but you need to always be confident in what you got going on don't let anybody or anything stop you from that with your person I'm gonna pull out one more what does the universe want them to know with their intentions just overall in life your intentions with the love and intentions in life in general so you just have to take it with what is going on with your life and just see if it coincides that's really all to it 11 cosmic connection okay so your person is definitely very powerful i can tell um it, whether they know it or not but with the gemini and the cancer energy gemini is very intellectual very you know mercury rules us so that is a lot of thinking <laughs> i don't know i just i feel like your person overthinks a lot but in order to like steal that this cosmic connection that they seek and that is seeking them too is going to help them so much once they do connect to that and they need to know that everything is okay whether they're worrying about family a lot or if it's a lot going on of course in the world right now but yeah I'm gonna pull out your intention too. Just one more for you so you can kind of get an overall, okay, do our intentions line up? What does this kind of mean to me? Like, what am I really seeking, you know? Cause it's good to just catch up on that when it comes to these connections and just overall, you know? It's always good to check back in with yourself. So that's what this reading is for. Worlds within worlds, number 36. Okay, I feel that. I feel like you're trying to build an empire. Like you've been working very hard and you don't want anything to get in the way of that, but you you seek the best of both worlds. <laughs> That's the best thing I'm, I can put it. That's the best way I can put it. Like, and just know that there is, like this is not, there's so much more to this and so much more to the things that you can pertain in this world right now. I don't know if that, I, I think a lot, but if you get what I'm saying, hopefully you do. You got two threes and a four and that's angelic. That's um, letting you know that as long as you're confident in, okay, I got this or confident in, okay, this connection is serving me then you'll always be okay as long as you're gravitating towards that success within and out people that align with your purpose are going to attract to you so maybe this second person isn't as connected as you are like i'm feeling like they have the potential to be but maybe the connection just isn't there like you need somebody on your same get my drip like you need somebody on your same level and that's okay like sometimes you help people out and they get there with you but you determine if this person is or isn't if you know what i mean i see i see a lot of good numbers and good energy with this person too and i do think that y'all have the potential to be successful together if that's kind of was the question or you have to take this how you take it with how you ask the question or you know is this person's intentions really you know for me so i'm gonna pull one more card for you guys as what the spirit and your ancestors want y'all to know with this intention moving forward and kind of just as a little bit more guidance and extra love extra care 
all right so i'm just asking for a little bit more clarity with this connection with the intentions overall together as one what is the person's intentions are their intentions serving their intentions <laughs> this is a reading just about intentions so you can always change those at any moment by the way shine number 29 yes i believe y'all do have the ability to shine you do have the ability to walk in this amazing light with the things you want to get into like just look at this card i'm gonna put up a picture too but look at that it's just pouring with like unfilling light <laughs> and it's all over her chakras like it starts here and it's just you know so once you align with people that really serve you and you align with people that really got your best interests then that's what you'll always do let's look into this card a little bit more yes like i feel like y'all are after a certain passion within life you're like seeking that and as long as you believe and you get to it put in that work you can always get that you decide if the relationship is going to keep you shining or keep you in the darkness at the end of the day so if you are currently in the dark or you feel that way a little bit, it's always a light at the end of the tunnel. So just keep going. <laughs>